High School swimming pool in Roseville, California is actually where I learned to, swim, learned to be on a team. I was four years old when I started competitive swimming and then ended up being at my high school and that's where I swam in high school. So, and it's still there today. So, and it's a beautiful pool. Yes, it's a beautiful pool. Do you still swim now? I do swim now, and that's why, I mean, talking about vacation, anytime I'm around water, I feel like I need to get in it. Right now, I'm at the Pocono Mountains, and I'm at Kalahari Resorts and Conventions, and right behind me, I know you can see it, is all this water. It's America's largest indoor water park resort. Um, and I'm itching to get in there, because it looks like so much fun. Well, tell me more about this resort. So it, uh, the second phase of this resort just opened up yesterday. Uh, and so the area is freaking out. But talking about road trips, they get people here from all over the place. I mean, six hours away, four hours away. New York City, which I came from yesterday, is only two hours away. But it's 220,000 square feet of fun. And fun at every level. There's the Lazy River. But there's also the Screaming Hyena, which is a water slide that goes 25 miles per hour, which has my daughter's name written all over it. Um, but yeah, and it's what I love about it is the fact that you spend so much time planning a vacation, and then you spend half your time worrying about whether or not the, the weather is going to be perfect. And you can never plan perfect weather, if there's one thing we've learned about this winter, that's for sure. Um, so everything's indoors, but it has the glass windows, so you actually feel like you're a part of the environment. Oh, it sounds nice. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, sorry. That's okay. Uh, well, what do you think makes a great vacation? I love the adventure side of vacations. Like I said, my husband's an Olympic skier, so he needs a little more of the adrenaline rush and the thrill seeker stuff. Um, we get out a lot and experience our beautiful country. You know, we go on hikes, we um, go to national parks. Um, I did, it was like, and then this is a true story. 2013, I was just getting ready to run the Boston Marathon, and I was planning our spring break vacation right after. And I put in uh, resort, or I put in hotel, water slide. Because we love that. I just, there's gotta be something fun and um, just a little bit of an adrenaline rush. It just creates such amazing memories. And these memories and stories last a lifetime. It sounds like this sounds like a fun place to go. Yeah. Um, but I have a question for you, uh, but I now think I know the answer. What are your favorite events in the Winter Olympics? Yes, I know, right? Well, when I was younger, it would be ice skating because Dorothy Hamill was one of my heroes, and I, have, I still can't ice skate. I mean, I pretend like I can. I go through the motions of it all, but I can't do it. Um, but I loved watching my husband compete. Alpine skiing is amazing. In fact, I go home tomorrow, or sorry, tonight, and then tomorrow I pack up my car and we're on a road trip to the kids youth ski league championships so we are a skier family uh the kids did swim for a while but they're really loving skiing right now well you're a very good sports announcer which sports do you follow i follow the nfl big time i did just catch some of ncaa basketball i still love college sports i love the ncaa tournament i love the idea that it's won and done so you have to bring your A game for every game. Um, so I caught some of the, I, forget, I think it was Big East. Would it have been Big East? Georgetown and St. John's last night. Um, so I was watching that. Uh, but NFL is really where I follow it. It's once a week. As a mom who's working, uh, it's easier for me to keep up with that. And I'm a Bills fan. So there's been a lot to keep up with this off season. It sounds like that, yeah. Um, how do you like your fans to connect with you? Um, I'm pretty active on social media, and that's usually a great way uh, to do it. And it's so interactive now with the stories and the FaceTime Live and, uh, I mean, the FaceTime Live, Facebook Live. Um, I feel like you can really be a part of the journey, and that's the best way for me. So I'm going to go back to the vacation side of things again. So spring break is coming up for lots of people right now. Uh, how do you plan a getaway that goes beyond traditional expectations? Um, well, that's when I was talking about that wow factor, right? Like the one-of-a-kind moment. There's only certain one-of-a-kind national parks. Um, there's only one largest indoor water park resort. So when you come here, I was checking in yesterday, and I was in the lobby, and this little girl was running in place and jumping up and down saying, 
oh my gosh, this is the best birthday surprise ever. And I just looked at her parents going, that's like a gift before the gift right there. I mean, these kids are walking around with their jaws dropping and their eyes open wide. They can't wait to experience everything. So that's the above and beyond. But what are some vacation tips that you'd have for the entire family from, you know, a little kid to grandma? Yeah, I know. I think you have to look at what everybody's expectations are, what their limitations are. But I, I take a lot of trips with my parents and with my in-laws. My in-laws are really active still, but uh, they enjoy so much watching the grandkids experience things, right? And hearing their amazing energetic stories right after they got done doing something maybe a little bit scary or adrenaline rushy. Um, and I think that's part of the story that the grandparent gets to bring home. But really making sure that there is something for everyone and, and that everybody has a great time at their level and at their age. Uh, what do you like to do for fun when you're not, whether on vacation or not? Yeah, no, I love to run. I still love being active. So for me, it's a good run. I just came from New York City and I used to live in New York, as I said. So for me, a good run in Central Park is like food for the soul. Uh, and I hit a really beautiful day there yesterday. It was sunny and awesome. So I got that in. I still love to swim. My connection with the water is real. It's like in my DNA. I feel like I'm a dolphin when I'm even just around it. So usually any body of water that does not have a thick layer of algae on it, I am in it. And that's, uh, and that's my important getaway, just on a daily basis. And maybe even the algae wouldn't always be a deterrent too. Sometimes it still looks fun. Yeah, exactly. You never know. You never know. Well, what's up next for you, Summer? I still host my show on CBS Sportsnet. It's called We Need to Talk. It's an all-female sports talk show, an award-winning one because we have some amazing women on the show. But uh, we'll have a lot to talk about when we come back in April with the NFL Combine, upcoming season, and, of course, the NCAA tournament that will have just taken place. Uh, where can our people find more information on your show first? The show, just go to CBS Sportsnet, and it, the show is called We Need to Talk. You can go to my website, summersanders.net. But if you want to come on vacation, go to kalahariresorts.com. And if you think you've missed the boat on spring break, they still have incredible deals going on.